Good morning, guys. It's October 26, 2023. We've gotten rain every single day this week. Last night was one of the heaviest we've received the entire year. Let me show you my uh, rain gauge. It was over actually one and a half inches. It just overflowed. So I don't really know how many inches of rain we got. But last night when I was checking it out, the entire yard was just flooded. It was like pools of water all over the place. But this is my uh, post application of the Walmart's diesel exhaust fluid and feature. Now you can see how much is greened up. So it actually did work. So here's my uh, cheap poor man's version of the uh, Halloween pack that Yard Mastery was, was selling. <clears throat> Green's looking really good. Temperatures are still in the mid 70s, 60s at night. We are gonna get a really, really cold uh, cold front coming in on Monday. It's gonna drop to 30s in the evening. So I don't know if I'm gonna even have a chance to put my winterizer um, on the lawn. It's gonna be raining all the way through Monday. And that Monday evening, it's gonna be like 34 degrees. <clears throat> I mean, it's raining right now. It's just sprinkling. So I'm not too sure if I, when I'm gonna get a chance to put the winterizer. Um, it was said that if the grass does go dormant, then it's useless. Um, the uh, stress 7020 uh, won't get absorbed by the grass if uh, everything goes dormant. So I'm debating on whether I need to lay it down while it's going to rain throughout this weekend or I just hold off and just not put anything down. I would like to get it down. I know I, I at least can put down the Air 8 and a Humic 12. Those are just uh, biostimulants that get um, absorbed into the soil. So that doesn't have anything to do with the grass, but the stress 7020 does need to be absorbed by the roots. So as long as the grass hasn't gone dormant, I can lay that down. I also have my last bag of Carbon Pro G that I plan to lay, lay with. So gotta make a decision, guys. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do here in the next few days. I just gotta figure out um, whether I, I'm gonna lay it down or where, or I just forego it and just let the grass go into dormancy. But yeah, let's look at the color again, guys. Man, this thing, this is the greenest it's been all year. Now, you know, it has a lot to do with the, the rain and stuff. I mean, let's look at the neighbor's lawn over there across the street. Everything's green, right? I mean, we, we, had, we hadn't had rain for several months during the summer, and then we're just all getting it right now. So it's all basically nature has given us all that missing rain that we had that we didn't get the whole summer and giving it to us now. And then that's gonna give us freezing temperatures to where we only get to enjoy the yard for a short span of time. So that's that's Texas weather for you. Not much you can do about it. Just uh, enjoy it while you can. Grass has grown up a bit. I've been cutting at three quarters of an inch. Uh, you can see that with the, even with all this heavy rain, barely have any of these uh, these these thatch spots. So I've been doing a pretty good job cleaning up the clippings as I'm mowing. Not very much of the uh, of the uh, thatch in the lawn. You can see right here. <clears throat> very very little. yeah I think raising up the height of cut to three quarters also allowed the green to show a bit more because now we're now that the grass is growing we're like above three quarters of an inch but 
you see how the iron got soaked in into the blades and it's showing a lot more so yeah color looks good i'm gonna call this my poor man's halloween domination pack basically spent 10 bucks on diesel exhaust fluid at walmart got the walmart brand and then i had my feature um a pack of features like around 20 something dollars 22 dollars but then you do have to pay shipping like 10 50. so it's really not that cheap i mean you're paying like 30 something bucks for a bag of feature and it'll last you a season and then you spend another 10 bucks on diesel exhaust fluid so you realize that you're still cheap it's, you're still spending less than if you were to buy the yard mastery halloween domination pack but you know just wanted to test out the iron i don't think features for me though because uh i did pound four ounce per thousand square foot into the grass which is like above the recommended rate but i wanted to get rid of it i was just trying to experiment and see you know what would happen if i had that much put that much iron into the ground and there it is it looks like this I mean, it greened up, but it's it's not it's not dark, dark, dark green, right? But it's 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 satisfying to the eye at least. I mean, it does accomplish what it needs to uh, what it's supposed to do. But yeah, I, I don't think I'll be a future customer using feature. I ha did have better results using Nutrizolve, so I might stick to that. Or I may try some other green up. I may start looking into some other products. But uh, yeah, this is just uh, my personal review and opinion about feature. I've seen it work for other lawns, but just not mine. I do have common Bermuda, it might be a factor too. So, yep, there's a ton of products out there that I'll be testing out, trying out next season. Um, my goal, I guess for next season, 2024, is to get an even color throughout the, the yard. As you can see, there's a lot of spots that the color is kind of, it's in dark, dark in some areas and light in some areas. So, um, could be due to the soil conditions, could be due to many factors. I'm going to play around with all that next season. I'm going to look into more biostimulants along with my fertilizer program. And then, um, uh, find out like a better iron, um, product. That'll help the green up but yeah all right the sun's been out since noon it's been pretty hot looks like it's dried up so i'm gonna go ahead and give a mow you can see that the grass is has grown it's taller than three quarters of an inch i'm gonna go ahead and mow it down and if time permits i'm gonna lay down my stress 7020 and carbon pro g that's probably all i can get done for today won't be able to get the air eight and the humic 12 in but at least i can get the granulars down before the morning rain tomorrow so let's go ahead and give them out
I always feel like these colors here always match up to the fall season. I mean, this is like fall colors. So it's like perfect to tell you that this is your winterizer, your fall uh, application that you need to put down. I think that's cool. All right, guys, lay down the Carbon Pro G in the Stress Blend 7020. It's supposed to get rain tomorrow morning, so this will be all watered in, let nature run its course. And uh, like I said, I didn't, it's too late to, run, uh, to lay down Air 8 and uh, Humic 12. I'll have to find another time to do that. Uh, temperatures are not really, it doesn't really matter for those two products, so I put those down anytime. Um, but what's important is that I get the uh, Stress 7020 in before uh, dormancy. So given that it's going to go 30s in Monday, hopefully all that gets watered in by tomorrow, Friday. Saturday and Sunday will still be between uh, 80s to 60s. And uh, hopefully we'll get all that watered in, have the uh, grass absorb those nutrients, and then uh, get, re get ready for dormancy. All right, so we didn't get any rain at all this morning. And that was, we were expected to get at least like 30% light rain and none of that fell down. And supposedly the rain was supposed to come, the evening rain, which is tonight, is gonna come down, they said at three, and then it changed to five, and then the seven, and now eight. So now they're saying that it's gonna be like flooding rain which I'm concerned about um, wash off, right? I'm concerned about everything I laid down last night in regards to the Carbon Pro G and the Stress 7020. Um, I'm scared that all that's gonna get washed off. And then the, the temperatures are gonna drop into the 30s Sunday night, which is gonna put stress on the lawn. And I'm afraid that the stress blend is not gonna be uh, soaked into the soil fast enough for the grass to um, uptake it so now I'm a bit concerned uh, I feel like I'm gonna need to water this in now so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the air 8 and the humic 12 uh, I'm gonna use the hose end sprayer and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it down into the lawn hopefully uh, that'll soak in the granules that I had laid down last night you can kind of see some of them right there. You can see the Carbon Pro G. Uh, yeah, you can see right there. It all They're all still sitting on the grass. So I need to get all that watered in. I don't want that to get washed away. It'll be a waste of product um, if it does flood tonight. So, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that ready to go. So yeah, basically the application rate is uh, six ounce per thousand square foot and uh, the hose end sprayer with the bottle holds up to 2,000 square feet. So what I'll be doing is I'll be pouring six, uh, let's see, how many, uh, it's 32 ounce in that bottle, so I can pour up to 24 ounces. So I'll do 12 ounces of air 12 ounces of Humic 12, pour it into the bottle, and then fill the rest up with water, and then hook it up to the hose, and then start spraying 2,000 square feet of it. It does tell you to shake it up before you apply it. Up. 12, shake it up. Got my measuring cup, 12 ounce. So, a total of 24 ounces of both products are going in. Just lost the 
the ounces. And get some water. up to the hose. All right. And as I measured previously when I lay, was laying down to death, um, I came up with this area being roughly around 20, 2400 square feet or so and then the remaining part of this is like close to like 600 square feet so 3,000 square foot total to get all this here all the way to over there so I'll be filling up 2,000 square feet then once I run out of product I'll refill again uh, I'll do the six ounce rate and then finish it off there and then whatever I got left I'll go over on that side Finishing it up. That's that weird. end of the, the lawn. The granules get got soaked into the into the lawn. They don't end up getting the soap. Clean these out, and then uh, you know use all the material I could possibly get. But I'm curious to see how the Air 8 and Humic 12 is gonna work out. Part of the line. Let's go. Alright, I'm just gonna go over all the spots now. Whatever I have left, I'm just gonna put the product in, water it in. All right, it's done. You make 12 down. 
air eight down. I just hope that uh, I got the granules watered in enough to where it's not going to be washed away tonight's tonight's weather. Uh, maybe the maybe it'll be unpredictable tonight to where it's not going to flood like they said. Well, Texas weather is so unpredictable, and it's one of the most frustrating things where you know you're preparing your products and stuff to lay on the lawn and it turns out it doesn't rain or the clouds just pass by and then you don't get any rain you gotta come back out there water it in and water it and then sometimes it'll just come out of nowhere and then start flooding your your yard and wash all your product away so i don't know we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen tonight but i hope that uh laying down all this stuff and watering it in took care of a carbon pro g and the stress blend to be uh, kind of absorbed into the soil and not get washed away that's my hugest concern and i'm hoping that uh it gets uh, absorbed in time before the the really really cold snap that we're gonna get really soon so let's find out and see all right guys like and subscribe stay tuned for more content and we'll keep you guys updated thanks